Welcome to Bold Beginnings. Come on in. Let's get started. Today we're going to do a romance reading for the weekend. So, the way this um the way this layout goes is on your left hand side is going to be the divine feminine. On the right hand side, divine masculine, and then in the middle, what brings the two together. Um this is something new for me for my channel that I was drawn to do. Um, this reading can be for twin flames, soulmates, and then in general with your relationship and the situation. Uh, this doesn't always have to um, resonate with love. It can resonate with a work as well, your job. Um, I think that's it. So the first one for the Divine Feminine is stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking is the key, you guys. So it says positive thinking and faith will bring you to romance. Now with that, even when something doesn't look good, doesn't mean that it's not good and it's not for you. That's what I feel with that situation. Um, you may feel as though the situation, oh, it's slow moving and it's a turtle and this person that I'm interested in is moving like... In uh, the Rider's Weight deck, it's the um, Knight of Pentacles. He is the slowest moving knight in the deck. And you may feel that way. You may feel this person, they... You know, they're not moving at the pace that you're moving at, but they are. They're clearing up their burdens as well as you probably already cleared up your burdens or you're still going through finishing the last few touches as well as them. So just be patient. Temperance, I know temperance is not out here right now, but be patient. Now, I'm sorry, for the first row, this is how you feel about the relationship. So... You want this relationship. They want this relationship. You just have to stay optimistic about it. You just keep an open mind. Because when this person come in, and I feel as though it's about to come soon, just hear them out first. So the DM, which is Divine Masculine, we're going to get one card. And here we go. It says Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so little do you think maybe they're not thinking about you or they're doing whatever with whoever they're not no they're not and they know that they're coming to present what they've been working hard to build for you two to be together and what the attraction is it feels as though they're already looking at you as the queen, the empress, honestly. The empress on her throne. And they know when they come in that it's about to be something hot and heavy. And they're going to enjoy it <clears throat> completely. Excuse me, you guys, if you hear me. Um, I sound a little muffled. I'm sick, so... Uh, but, you guys, February is a month of love. Let it flow. Just let it happen. Now, the middle card we're going to get for the angels and spirits to drop one card on what brings the two together. And remember, with this, <clears throat> everyone has free will. So it may say one thing one day and the next day you may get another reading and it may say something different. Everyone has free will. Just because it changes doesn't mean that it won't go back. And just because it may one day it may be a good message and the next day it may not be, don't get too caught up in that. And definitely don't continue to check every five to six 
you know, seconds on what's going on. Give it some time. Now, the card that fell out was, guess this is your soulmate. Hmm. So, um, February is about to get really hot and steamy, darlings. Are you ready? I'm ready, trust me. I miss mine. Oh, so for the Divine Feminine, the next one is, um, that fell out was Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Ooh, I feel a hot steamy, steamy day coming on. But, um, just be open. Love this person for who they are. Don't try to change them. And you... You know, don't try to mold them into something that they're not. Because it's just going to cause more restriction. And I'm pretty sure, because I'm feeling it very heavy, this is a runner and a, ch and a chaser type of situation. And also, I wanted to um, make reference as well to the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. Now, because it's a Divine Masculine and a Divine Feminine, I know I just did it the opposite. Crazy. Divine masculine, divine, divine feminine. You don't have to be male or female. It's just a trace that you pick up on. So you can be in a divine masculine. A male can be in a divine masculine. I mean feminine. I'm sorry. What is going on? I'm just so in love, y'all. Um, a male can be in a divine feminine aspect. The way they move, the way they, they nurture. And not saying uh, masculine isn't nurture, but that's mainly like divine feminine expertise a female could be in a divine masculine where you're more forceful and testosterone i don't know i'm getting that word i'm gonna take it i'm gonna run with it y'all you you could be more manly you know not saying manly like but the aspect of what men and how men act and do so um Whichever one you feel that you are, use your intuition through this video, please, because it'll help you and it would help you resonate what is for you and what's not for you. If you know your situation is not dealing with someone else, then it could be a work situation where you're going up for a promotion or a job you once worked at or a position you once um put in for it was you didn't get it or it wasn't available to you but it's coming back around just like that it's the same thing excuse me you guys i'm so sorry i'm trying to breathe out my nose <laughs> and i know i can't because it's stuffed up and i'm talking just a little too much to breathe out my mouth so sorry okay let me stop talking let's get on oh so the divine masculine the next card dropped out for the divine masculine is flirt extend your lighthearted energy to others now i know what you guys saying he should only be flirting with me no flirt can be giving somebody a smile and just walking away or making somebody day so it doesn't necessarily mean like oh flirt talk and just have this like outrageous conversation no it's just be lighthearted. be be the sun. You walk past somebody that's like not smiling, smile. Ask them how their day going. Even if you get a long, drawn out answer, just be like, well, you know what? Tomorrow's a better day. Tomorrow will be a better day. You know, people don't realize how much actually talking to someone helps them. You know, I could be having the worst day in the world, but it could be worse than what it is. Seriously, and people don't realize that, yeah, you're going through something now, but it could be worse than what you're going through. And the thing that you think, the situation that you think is going to break you, it will be the situation that brings you out and make you stronger. So don't ever think a situation is that, yeah, it may look that bad off, <laughs> grant you that, but... God is taking you through that for a reason. God is not taking you through something 
that is going to completely break you down to where you just can't do it anymore. You're going to think you're at that that edge of that breaking point, that last little straw that you got in you. And as soon as the, as soon as you get there, God blesses you. He blesses you because you went through the term oil to get to where you need to be. He breaks you down to a fraction, honey. And he lets you know, I needed to do that. I needed to break you from probably your material, the material world. I needed to break you down from the way you were doing things, the way you grew up. Because that's not the way to completely serve your divine purpose in life. And we all have a divine purpose. I'm sorry if I'm talking too much. I know I was trying not to make this video so long, but when the messages come through, I go with them and I let you know exactly what I get. Because somebody may not resonate with it, but the next person will. So in the middle, the barrier in the middle, which brought out two cards, you guys. And the first one says, finance and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And then the second one says, express your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. Now, I know everyone, Valentine's Day coming up, hey. But people think Valentine's Day is about what you receive. No, 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 no. Valentine's Day is not about what you receive. It's about the love you give, the love you have. Honestly, with my Valentine's, when he come back from being the runner and the chaser, whatever, whichever one, you know, I'm not going to put my whole business out there, but when he comes, okay, you know, let, let's, let's just go. Hopefully I ain't snow on the ground, ooh. but let's, let's watch a movie. Let's go to the movies. Let's, let's do something small. I don't want to do all that extra stuff. You know, people be doing the extra the most, you know, okay, we, we ain't got to go to the movies. Let's, um, I don't know. Something small. Just write me a card. Write me a card and, I don't know, put a heart on it. I don't know. But y'all know what I mean. Like, don't, don't look at material life. Because that's just material. You can't take it with you when you go. Believe that one. No one can. Okay, so the last role will be the outcome okay us divine feminines we gotta let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally now I have a hard time with that one okay I do because I used to I used to want the situation to unfold the way I wanted it to I want you to come on a white horse and carriage and sweep me off my feet. But that's, you know, that's, you got to put it in realistic terms. You can't sit here and think like, oh, because I want this situation right now, I need it right now. No, the vine brings it to you when it's supposed to. When it's the time when you have made those adjustments and you worked and worked and worked, worked your hardest. And it's time to receive your accolades for working. Just, just let the control issues go. Let it flow naturally. You'll, and honestly, when you let it go, because I have done that, and I'm still doing it, I'm still learning, so every day is a learning process for me too. When I let it go, I feel his energy more than anything now. And that's a great feeling. When you could feel somebody's energy, and they're not even in front of you, but you know that you could feel their energy, it's a beautiful feeling. It's not a feeling where you'll be like, oh my goodness, you know. Like, I used to I used to be like, is this feeling really for me? Everything is for you. What's meant for you is meant for you. I used to question that. But now I'm like, I deserve that. I deserve to feel good. I deserve to sit here and have a smile on my face or listen to this song and this song makes me think of him. I deserve that. 
I probably got a little too personal in this video. <laughs> but, you know, I, I want to connect with you guys. I want to, I want you to know that just because I'm doing this channel doesn't mean that I'm perfect and that I don't, I don't have flaws because I do. And I'm going through things just like the next person. But this is my gift. And I want to share and I want to help everyone grow because that's what we're here for. We're here to grow. You clicked on this this um, video for a reason. You didn't click on it just to click on it to hear what I had to say. Yeah, you clicked on it for that. But you clicked on it because you was drawn to it. You clicked on it because it was, it was meant for you to click on. Now, the card that fell out for the DM is free yourself it's time to take back control of your life now with that card let me tell you what i feel with that card because that not that's not such a i'm gonna move it back just a little bit you guys i hope you can see it that card is not as bad as it looks okay um i feel like the dm right now is getting themselves together and they're learning how to tell people no and they're learning how to take back their power they're learning how to sit there and say this is my life i understood that i grew up this way and i respect you i respect everything that you've done for me i feel like this more has to do with parents um or i mean it it, it doesn't technically have to do with parents but who's ever the person that's in their ear telling them to hold on, don't do it yet, and no, this is, you know, unethical, you shouldn't do that. They're taking back their power and they're saying, look, this is what I want and this is what I feel. And I only feel this way with this particular person. And this feeling, I can't get them out of my head. I can't, all we did was talk or all we did was... I had to dream about them, and I can't get them out of my head. Every other person I've, you know, talked to, not saying that the person was out there talking to a lot of people, no. But every other person that they, they came in contact with, talked with, it, the connection wasn't like this. The connection was nowhere near this deep. So let's get that last card, you guys. the outcome to this current situation this is a really beautiful reading and the perfect month to have it in happy birthday to everyone this birthday's in february i definitely gotta say that you know <laughs> me being a pisces and all i definitely have to say that I'm gonna take these two. So, first one that came out is deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. Now, it could be both of you. I think it's both of you. And I think the deception, the false mask that's being worn in this relationship is you both not telling each other exactly how you feel and what you feel is going on. And how you love each other. Because this is definitely love. And with this, honestly, I'm sorry. I, I got to go back because this is like popping out to me right now. This is your barriers. Reconciliation. Like you, you want this reconciliation right now. Divine time is sweetie pie. Express your love. That's a barrier. Because this person particularly can't express express their love they can't flirt with you they can't it's not they can't i'm sorry um they don't know how just yet they're trying to plan strategically how to do this and when they come to you they want to come to you open they want you to have open arms they want you to understand what they had to go through to get back to you and again financial barriers Is definitely here. But 
But they're coming. Either way it go, you guys, they're coming. And when they do show up, in order to make the situation work out the way you guys both wanted to work out, y'all both have to take the mask off. You can't sit in a relationship and not be open. Because then you're in a relationship by yourself. Why are you in a relationship if you can't be open with the with your partner? Both of you. And they went through this transformation to become open. You've went through this transformation to become open. Because you, you're, both of your past relationships weren't that great. Now, codependencies. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. And this could be addictions to a lot of things. Um, I, I feel like with this addictions card, someone is definitely addicted to drugs and drinking. And that's the way of them masking this whole situation. But they're getting through it. They're learning that they don't need that to get the outcome that they want. They're definitely they're definitely over there pondering like what's 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 really supposed to happen. I'm so sorry you guys. <clears throat> And with this codependency, they could have been codependent to their karmic situations that was before you. They could have been codependent to their lifestyle, their old lifestyle. Codependency to money. Everyone thinks like finances, you know, I got to have this to come forward to you because I want to put more on the table. Yeah, but your belief, your in in. in your spiritual awakening, you have to believe that God will provide everything you need. He will, because he will. That's just it. He will. He will provide it for you. Regardless if you feel like, he's not listening. He's listening. But you got to put the work in to get to the end. To get to that point where you got that mustard seed faith. Okay, now, codependency is not really, it's something that could be worked through. It's not permanent. And you're just going to have to work through it. Both of you guys got codependency. Um, don't be so codependent. I feel this with the feminine. Don't be so codependent on this person to make your happiness. And then vice versa, too. Either way you go. Don't be so codependent on someone else making your happiness because you can make your own happiness. At the end of the day, you have your own happiness. Love yourself first. That Once you start loving yourself completely, that's what helps knock this codependency out the water. Because then you start to see, you start to see things, see things that you've been doing that you're like, oh, whoa. Was I really doing that? Hold on, let me stop. You know? <laughs> so, have a great weekend, you guys. I believe this is Super Bowl weekend. Enjoy the Super Bowl if you watch the Super Bowl. If not, hey, read a book. I don't know. Do whatever you do. Just do something I wouldn't do. <laughs> and that's saying a lot. Because I don't do a lot. But, besides the point. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to me. Um, hit that bell notification so you can know when I upload something. Because typically I try to upload every day. Um, so yeah, thank y'all for watching. And thanks for wiping y'all feet at the dough when I answer my dough. Have a good day, y'all.